It's a fight to the finish. The candidates going door to door for every last vote in the closest presidential race since Chile returned to democracy 20 years ago. A runoff between former center-left president Eduardo Frey and Sebastián Piñera, a Harvard-educated right-wing billionaire. The ruling center-left coalition that's governed Chile for two decades is struggling to stay in power. We must stay on course, resolve our pending problems, but not return to the past. The past is the period of Chile's brutal military dictatorship. And though Pineda promises to lead a new democratic right wing, many of his closest supporters formed part of the military regime. Another issue is that Pineda is Chile's sixth richest man, so there are nagging questions about whether he would govern for his business interests or for those of the Chilean people, were he to sit in this presidential palace. Still, for many, it's time for a change. Chileans like Don Mario, who sells flowers for a living and who has always voted for the left. I think Piñera will put people who are qualified in government instead of using the old quota system for friends. Despite the 81% approval rating for leftist President Michel Bachelet, who has significantly increased social spending, many Chileans accuse the ruling coalition of forming an elite ruling class with the same old faces. And Chileans are impatient for faster improvements in health, education, and salaries. Change, change, ladies and gentlemen, is what is knocking at the door. Pineda has struck a chord with voters, promising a new style of government without changing the basics. It's not going to change course, it's just going to change the pilot. So despite all his weaknesses, Pineda is the candidate of change within the context of continuity. Maybe so, but for many, even those critical of the ruling coalition, the prospect of Chile turning to the right is more than they can bear. Even though, as the polls suggest, it is now a very distinct possibility. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.